Eckhart from Global Gardener. I made three tree changes in my life. It was absolutely the best thing I'd ever done. All my tree changes had a completely different criteria. So the first one, I was a single woman where I went out in the bush, did a tree change on my own, initially living under a tarps, and then slowly getting the property organized and then having a simple dwelling uh, on my bush block. Loved it, such an adventure. Now my second tree change, I had a, a different objective in mind. Uh, I was setting up an organic small crop gardening, garden uh, with my partner uh, from scratch. So that was a completely different ball game. Learned a lot along the way, uh, especially about growing um, uh, vegetables from scratch, from sort of a bush block um, piece of dirt. It was dirt, no soil. We had to improve the soil. Uh, so that was completely different. But my third tree change, I had learned a lot by then. And we were establishing a landscaping and garden design business with a production nursery. So a business, once again, it was in a different climate, uh, different area, different clientele. And also, this was a bit more long term because when you set up a, a small crop garden, uh, you could really harvest within 12 months. Well, this would take a little bit longer because we had to establish uh, the gardens first because that was to be our mother stock. So that they were the plants that we were taking cuttings from to make new plants for the nursery for our clients. So it took us about three years to get that established. But this time uh, we designed everything uh, from scratch. And also we were lucky, we, um, I worked for the Australian Agricultural College uh, delivering certificate courses at the workplace. So I was traveling uh, all over the state uh, doing that while we were setting up uh, the business. Um, so you had a bit of income and also a bit of time frame. So that was a lot of hard work, but a new challenge. It was a lot of fun. I love propagating. I love making new plants, um, planting out new gardens. So not only um, our gardens were going to be uh, the backbone, the foundation for our business, but our home would also be a bit of a showcase. So it, uh, later on, we opened our gardens for the Australian Open Garden Scheme. Now, who said that life and gardening was uh, easy in a straight road? Um, in February in 2009, we had the highest flood in 32 years, one metre of water sitting over the property for seven days. And then in June, four months later, we, we were opening our gardens for, for the public. But as gardeners, we're very versatile, very, very um, uh, pragmatic and hard workers. So we opened our gardens and people said, oh, what flood? They couldn't see any evidence. Of course, we cleaned up uh, the plants, especially uh, the tropical gingers and heliconias that just melted, dissolved in the water. But otherwise, you wouldn't know that there'd been a flood. It was amazing. And a lot of people came. Uh, I think we had um, 180 people that came over the weekend. Uh, to actually have a look to see how a garden survives. So it's amazing how resilient a garden is. But the, um, the landscaping journey uh, was, was a wonderful. So it's a, a very seasonal uh, trade, if you like. Uh, so during the cooler months, we would um, install and establish gardens. And then during the warmer months, when it was just really way too, too hot, or it would be raining too much, uh, you couldn't be out there installing gardens, it was sort of too dangerous. Uh, then I would work in the nursery, and that was the time of the year to propagate the plants anyway, uh, from October till, till March. And yes, like I said, I loved uh, my nursery and making all the plants, and it was very gratifying. Uh, it was, I suppose, the um, apex 
of my tree change. Not only did I have these beautiful parkland gardens with lots of birds that, that came and I had lots of um, bandicoots, that's a different story, they can be a bit of an issue. I had, um, you know, we had wallabies, extensive uh, fruit orchard, very large vegetable garden. My vegetable garden was about mm, five, six hundred square meters. So not only did that supply my family, but also the neighbors with all these nutrient dense, uh, wonderfully uh, tasting uh, vegetables and all the butterflies and everything that, ca that comes with it. So making a tree change was absolutely the time of my life. It was wonderful. Uh, being a city kid coming <laughs> from the city, born and bred amongst the high rises, uh, that was uh, a dream come true on so many fronts. Uh, and I learned so much. So that's um, one of the reasons why I um, established the Tree Changer Accelerator course to help other people experience the joys of leaving the city and living in the countryside for a completely new lifestyle, a new experience. Now that doesn't mean this is going to be their forever home. Some people, yes, it's going to be their forever home. Um, some people, it's one part of their life or one stage of their life and then life changes and then you might have, have, have to move on and do other things like I've done. But um, the tree change was just fantastic. Um, it's 25 years ago since I did my first tree change on my own and I still talk about it. Uh, it's got wonder, wonderful memories and I got very fit and strong and still is, I might say, uh, because of that continuing gardening and love of, of the outdoors. So I will come with more stories uh, for you. Uh, and how the tree change experience, experience continues 25 years later. Nice talking to you.